Well, county jails, they are working to protect inmates and the people who work with them by controlling the spread of coronavirus. As Brittany Thomason reports, safety measures start the moment the inmates get to the jails. Medical staff screens them. They're looking for a fever, a cough, respiratory symptoms. We are very much preparing for that peak to come any time in the next uh, week to two weeks. And um, we're working closely with the State Health Department and the State Emergency Operations Center to prepare for any health care surge. No county inmates have tested positive for coronavirus so far. Of the 28 tested, the county says 21 tests came back negative. Seven tests are still pending. Those inmates are under medical observation. We understand that a complete quarantine is not realistic, and therefore we have implemented several proactive measures. These include staff are monitoring daily for fever and symptoms and being sent home if any develop. The sheriff's office says inmates are given soap and have access to cleaning supplies. Each day county jails are seeing about 2,000 fewer inmates than usual. Sheriff Paul Pinzone has told officers they should use citations rather than make arrests in cases where it's appropriate and do not endanger the public. The county says that may have helped lower numbers. The sheriff's office also worked with attorneys to get work release inmates out of jail. Our inmate count is quite low right now, so we do have space to create uh, these isolated systems. Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.